So I am really excited because uh, I just got I just got a GS Mini. I just got a GS Mini and it just came in and I'm super excited to unbox it. So let's go. Okay, so um, essentially long story short, I used to work at Sweetwater uh, and I don't anymore. And you guys probably knew that, but uh, surprise, I don't work at Sweetwater anymore. Uh, while I was at Sweetwater, uh, they they give us these uh, different trainings from like either Fender or Taylor and whatnot. And so uh, um, I was able to do training uh, through Taylor. So I know a lot about Taylor guitars. If you guys have any questions about Taylor guitars, uh, feel free to ask me uh, because they're awesome, awesome, great guitars. And um, I'm excited because I finally got mine. So I'm super excited to. Uh, to actually um, to have it here. So uh, I'm gonna unbox it and uh, if you guys are wondering, it's a GS Mini E Rosewood um, with a black pick guard. It should have the black pick guard. If it doesn't have a black pick guard, I'm okay. I just asked specifically if I could have a, a black pick guard. Um, they also come in the tortoise shell pick guard. Um, I chose the Rosewood as opposed to um, um, some of the other options. Specifically, I know the Koa is really nice. Um, or obviously mahogany and whatnot, but uh, I chose the Rosewood because I wanted that kind of singer songwriter guitar, you know, something that could, you know, scoop out the mids so that my voice can fit there in the mid range um, while the guitar really, you know, does its job in the, the lower and the higher end. And obviously with Taylor guitars, these guitars are really, really amazing um, as far as projection. Even this GS Mini, you know, the GS Mini is a smaller scale length and um, the, you know, standard uh, uh, Grand Symphony, which is what the GS is short for. Um, so anyway, enough of that. Let's open the box. I have the tool. This should be all I need. <laughs> What's funny is that uh, Obviously I was a sales engineer at Sweetwater. I ended up moving departments and I was in the guitar gallery, which essentially is the, the team that does the inspections, the 55 point inspection, um, which is really cool. And uh, what I did there is I was a guitar handler and I wasn't there for long, but uh, essentially uh, my job was to unbox guitars. And I would unbox a little over a hundred guitars every single day. So doing this action right now, <laughs> It's kind of funny because this is what I was doing for the last several weeks is unboxing guitars, but luckily I get to unbox this one and keep it. So um, in fact, when we would unbox them, we take these staples out so that they don't do any damage. Um, we don't want to damage anything on the guitar. So, and we don't want to damage the box. So we take them out in a nice manner so that they don't anything after they box it all back up after the inspection after we make sure everything is good on the guitar they actually take the manufacturer box like this one itself and then they put it into another box and that's when they ship it to you the customer um, so now I think this is like the one time in my life where I'm actually like I got promoted to customer and I'm like happy about that I get it I did I chose to left on my own volition maybe I didn't get fired enough like that um, it just wasn't working out for me, um, but uh, so as you see, guitar, box, and we're pulling it out now, so here we go. They come in these giant, oh, these giant bread bags, and when I say bread bag, they have like a little clip on them, like a loaf of bread. So. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, and then you can pull it out. And here it is. It comes in a gig bag and everything. A little backpack gig bag. I love these guys. So, my guitar is in here. Um, there's nothing else in the box. If you were curious, I'll show you. Nothing else, just the cardboard. Um, we would keep everything um, in the box, um, except the bag, the bag isn't really needed. But uh, essentially, I'm gonna go ahead and put all this back in the box. 
I personally don't need the box anymore. Um, I'm not returning it, obviously. <laughs> so I can go ahead and get rid of this guy. Woo! <laughs> and here we go. Let me see if I can put this in a nice position so that we can unbox it. Alright, here we go. Thanks for it up. Oh, and I already know, obviously, I've, I've unboxed. I've unboxed many of these, so I already know what's inside. Uh, essentially, all a, all a GS Mini is going to come with is this little booklet. Um, and this is like your, hello, how to take care of your guitar, because guitars are, you know, uh, nice pieces of wood that still want to be alive because you've chopped down a tree and they want to breathe and have certain humidity and temperature. But, all right, enough of that. Oh, dude, this, what? It looks so nice. Oh, oh that is beautiful. Wow. Look at, just, just look at that. And then did you see the front? Wow. Wow. I I love the pattern on the top one. This is like, let me see if I can get a good angle. I love, love, love the pattern on the top wood. Um, and of course these sides look incredible. And that back just, whoo! Um, I'm super happy. Um, here's the fretboard. I do like um, on these ebony fretboards how uh, Taylor, because they, here I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Whoa, what's going on? I'm gonna try to anyway. <laughs> uh, because Taylor cares about sustainability, um, you know, they care about the earth. Uh, what they do is with ebony, um, which is type of wood um, known for its very dark characteristics. A lot of people that use ebony wood, um, even guitar manufacturers, uh, they typically harvest or um, only use the darkest. And you know, like anything that's not just completely black, uh, they throw away. So Taylor said, why are we throwing away perfect wood, wood that has no characteristic flaws or anything um, simply just the the aesthetic why are we throwing that away well they decided they're not going to and so they use ebony wood that still has the streaks and stuff in it and I think that looks awesome I think it's really cool to get those streaks in the fretboard and so I don't know if you could see it but um but you've got a couple light streaks um, coming through and I, I think personally I think that looks awesome and if anything um, it is a sign that uh, Taylor actually does care about the environment so thank you Taylor either way here's the uh, the first the first play of it I, I got a strap too they sent me a strap I, I, I should I should go get that so here is the strap that they sent me um, as you can see it says Taylor right there um, and then this is how you adjust the length and everything. So here's the strap and I'm going to go ahead and put the strap on so that I can hold it and then play it for you. Alright, here we go. Look at that. Oh dude, it fits so nice. It's so handsome and uh, here we go. Okay, it didn't come in tune. They shipped these all the way from El Cajon, California. So, let's tune it up first. Uh... Okay. Now that we're tuned up, let's try that again.
There we go. Here's my new GS Mini. Oh, I love it. <laughs> everybody thank you for checking oh wait we're not done yet we have the owner's essential uh essentials booklet to go through so let's go through it okay so owner's essentials this is what you get when you buy a taylor guitar pretty much uh any other guitars uh you're gonna get one of these to come with it so um, there's nothing else inside, that was it, if you can see, if you want to see, I know some people are particular about unboxing videos, but I'm doing my own thing. Okay, uh, this is a man playing the guitar, very handsome man playing the guitar, in fact, he's playing, it looks like one of the Builders Editions, um, I, I, I can't tell you exactly which one that is, but it's one that I probably wish I had. <laughs> I do hope to one day have a higher end tailor, this is, uh, this is one of the lower end tailors, and it's like amazing. Um, so I definitely hope to have something like that, um, something with the cutout um, and the, the beveled uh, armrest and all that. But anyway, uh, let me stop nerding out. It says, welcome, registration and essentials guide, Taylor, quality guitars. Um, somebody else is really happy to be playing a uh, Taylor guitar, just like me. It says, congratulations on your new Taylor guitar designed to bring you a lifetime of enjoyment. As a Taylor owner, you have access to an array of owner's resources, including guitar care tips, maintenance, service warranty information, and more. And then you can visit the Taylor warranty, um, the welcome page right here, and you can register here for uh, your warranty. So, a couple QR codes. Um, it says, most Taylor still string and acoustic guitars feature elixir uh, strings. All Taylor nylon string models uh, feature Diodario Pro Art Carbon Strings, which Diodario is also a really awesome brand. Um, developed exclusively for the instrument, no other string can be used. Uh, to see a list of string gauge specification for all Taylor models, I can go to that link, which is awesome. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I believe also I can check it out on Sweetwater.com. Um, a lot of the time they'll show what gauge string um, that your guitar has, which is very important for acoustic guitars um, and electric guitars as well. Um, but that affects your uh, the playability of the guitar. Um, essentially, um, the different gauges kind of depend uh, uh, determine how you know how much it's pulling on the neck. And so, if you're uh, stringing your guitar with a different gauge uh, strings than what it is supposed to come with or what it, what it comes with out of the factory. Um, it's going to be pulling on that neck uh, differently, whether it's it's not pulling as tight or maybe it's pulling too much, and um, effectually, or essentially, that's going to affect the um, the action of the guitar, and it's going to you know give you not as nice of a um, playing experience unless you have your guitar set up. So that's definitely something that I would uh, keep in mind. Is just make sure you have a luthier or somebody who's knowledgeable enough that can help set up your guitar. It's a lot easier to set up a guitar um, if it is an electric um, because they have those adjustments that are easy to make. On an acoustic, it is a little bit different um, just uh, on most acoustics. I will say that other acoustics have like a truss rod or something that you can adjust, but anyway. Uh, this is all about uh, humidity control, also very important for guitars. Um, if you don't humidify it properly, guitars like to sit around the 50 to 55% uh, percent humidity range. So if you're not sitting within there, if it gets too much humidity, your wood of the guitar is going to be soaking that up um, and your strings can bow um, down 
and uh, essentially bring that action too low, you have like buzzing issues and stuff on the frets, or if the, if the humidity is too low on the opposite spectrum, um, it'll dry out the wood and then it could basically bow the neck the opposite direction, your action's gonna come up. I believe I have that correct. If not, I'll leave a note or say something about that. So, um, exactly. So you wanna make sure you have your humidity control. And they and they talk about it here. 50 to 55 is like the perfect range. Um, they mentioned that between 40 and 60, obviously everybody can have it between 50 and 55. That's like the perfect range for the guitar, but between 40 and 60 is gonna be really good for um, pretty much any guitar that you have. And then they talk about other things, how to clean your guitar, how to properly uh, string change, technique and all of that. And then they've got their customer service and, and happy people playing guitars. And this guy who obviously is helping build the guitars, I would assume, or maybe he's just likes looking at them. Uh, he's really happy though. And that would be too if um, I was playing Taylor's all day. So, um, that's it. That's the booklet. Oh, and then you got the Taylor Wear. Um, and this is going to be like their guitar straps and their guitar picks and all of that. So, um, it's just uh, a little booklet here that talks about uh, Taylor straps and um, their hangers, um, stands and hangers, guitar straps, guitar picks. Um, I can vouch and verify that they're always really good quality. So, Highly recommend any of the Taylor wear as well. Um, so that's awesome. I actually um, I used to check and make sure that these were in all of the Taylor cases. Um, that was part of my job, and uh, I never I never read one of these booklets. So that was the first time me going through it. Um, obviously, I didn't read everything, but if you want to read everything, either send me a message or buy yourself a, a Taylor guitar because uh, I highly recommend them. So uh, yeah, look at that. All right, well that's gonna be it for this video. So uh, thank you for uh, stopping by and uh, feel free to check out my other content. Got a couple music videos, I do reaction videos and vlog episodes whenever I can fit them in. So uh, thanks for checking out this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and we'll see you in the next video. I don't know what to play. I don't even know what to play. I just got it and I'm like baffled. Uh,